What's up, YouTube? I like Pokemon here. Uh, in my previous video, I've had a lot of uh, interesting uh, comments regarding whether things were overpriced, especially in Champions Path, and whether flippers, short-term investors, are bad kind of thing. Okay. Let me tell you how I'm going to make some videos nowadays, because I feel like um, some people like my insights, but to be very honest, some of my insights are very two-sided too. Um, what I want to do in on this channel is to provide you with different views and thoughts. Um, some of them might be my personal opinion, but some of them may be data that shows something very different to what I believe. Um, a lot of people ask, you know, how do I invest or how would I invest or how would I know which set is good? What is overvalue? What is undervalue? What is good to buy? I mean, I do look at numbers, but there's a, there's a large portion of it that comes from my own intuition. I, it, you know, I know it's scary when you hear a financial person says this, but I just have that gut feeling. You know, it's just the overall you know, image that is presenting. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, things are not backed by sources. Sometimes things are not backed by numbers. Sometimes it's just that feeling you have um, about the market. Uh, so yeah, so uh, sometimes I just simply don't have a source to show you guys. But here's the thing. Today I want to take a look at some numbers. Uh, I actually have a sheet of paper in front of me, but I will actually screen cap it right there. So um, it's a very raw kind of Excel data sheets that I've gotten. Basically, it lists out all the booster packs prices and the general price of when a booster pack is released and how much it is. And we are going to look at any sort of changes in the price to see if something is overvalued or undervalued. So this is another way that people can look at things. Oh. Sorry, I'm actually sitting on, a, I'm actually, I'm leaning on uh, cases of Champions Path Elite Trainer Box. So, uh, yeah, here's the thing. Uh, by looking at these numbers, what you guys are, you guys can see or you guys can tell is that sometimes if you look at the numbers in a different way, you will see things to be undervalued. You could argue Champions Path is undervalued. Yeah, you're hearing me. I'm saying it now. And it depends on the numbers, it's the statistics that you look at. Um, but it, it, it doesn't, I mean, these number doesn't help me conclude my own perception of the set. So, um, but I'm still going to present it because some of you guys like numbers and let's take a look. So here I list out all the sing, all the sets from Sun and Moon 1, which is Sun and Moon base, all the way up until Champions Pack. And I've listed it out on the prices of booster packs that are still being sold and available on Troll and Toad uh, because you know those are usually um, a good sign, good indicator. Uh, because there are, especially the older sets, there are a lot of individual sellers, merchants that are selling on it. So I, I would take that number. And for each of the regular boosters, so your SM SM1, your Burning Shadow, your Darkness Ablaze, Originally, all the cards started out as around two forty nine a pack, right? Yeah. Okay. And then it goes up, goes up, goes up. All right. So I've listed out all of them, and we can see that you know there's a varying percentage change. For example, Sun and Moon base only went up by twelve percent ever since like three years ago, whereas you know Burning Shadow it went up by eighty percent. Uh, Dragon Majesty one hundred and twenty percent. Um. Sword and Shield base, 12%. Rebel Clash, 20%. Darkness of Blaze, 20%. Ah, oh, here's the interesting part I did. So I separated out the set with Charizard. Oh, I know what you guys, I know what you guys are gonna ask. You guys are gonna ask me. Hey, collect Pokemon. Dragon Majesty, there's no Charizard. There is. There's a little hollow Charizard there. SM9? Same, there's actually a non hollow Charizard in that set. Um, team up. So, um, yeah, I listed it all out. And on the, should be your left hand side, the average percentage growth with the Charizard is around 
and the average percentage growth without the Charizard is only 40%. So if we are looking at these numbers, this is what I can tell you. Darkness Ablaze is undervalued. Champions Path Booster Packs are undervalued. So in that sense, you know, if we're expecting the average of, you know, 85% growth rate, uh, yeah, we're going to see Darkness of Blaze go up in price. We're going to see Champions Path Booster Packs go up in price. I mean, there's good 20% room for um, Champions Path to, grow up, uh, to go up to, and there's a good 60% for Darkness of Blaze to go up to. So, yeah, these are some numbers that I want to show you guys. Um, basically, I also want to illustrate to you guys that, you know, overvalue and undervalue, it really depends on how we calculate the numbers. A lot of statistics, uh, there could be a lot of statistics around, but it re really depends on how you look at it. And I think that my job here, or my role here on this channel, I want to illustrate, or, you know, I would try and illustrate to you the different types of number you know, people would see or people would choose to see in evaluating the market. But at the same time, I would also share my view and my insight as to how I feel about the products. Um, and I, I know a lot of you, you I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, you know, booster packs are not a good indicator. You know, oh, you know, collect Pokemon, save the seal product. You know, look at how much the seal product has increased in price. Well, true, but essentially you want to open the specific cards and yeah and why not why not look at booster packs i mean if you can get booster packs if you can get a hundred a, a thousand of them chances are you will open that that card so uh yeah so i'll show you those numbers but here's the thing a lot of people in my live stream has asked me what do i think about champions path how will it age Honestly, the price will still go up. I mean, look at Dragon Majesty. Can you think of a good card in Dragon Majesty? Gold Necrozma? But look at the price of Dragon Majesty. You know, I mean, uh, yeah, there is less of a demand, but, you know, people still want it, and there's still a price for it. And does Darkness Ablaze, would the price go up? I would say yes, because it's Charizard. But at the same time, I would say that, you know, it's going to take a really long while before it goes out. At least a year or something like that. So, um, yeah, hopefully these numbers can get your, uh, may bend your head or may confuse you. But, yeah, that's what people do with numbers. So, uh, that's pretty much it. I've been talking all day. I've been teaching all day. So, I'm quite trained. So, uh, enjoy the numbers. Peace.